we have a lobbyist for a secretary of state. How is this different from having the CEO of Exxon as secretary of state? It's not. What happened here is that Blinken cut out the French from a lucrative submarine deal. The French had a deal for su- uh, to sell submarines to the Australians. The Australians were like, no thanks, we're going to buy these nuclear submarines from the Americans. And so not only was this a disrespectful, uh, utter lack of consideration, simply undiplomatic move by the United States towards our close ally, France, it also cut them out of a major deal. It destroyed a deal for them. And this is happening to Macron when he's heading into an election year in 2022. And there is a strong far-right presence in France. Certainly didn't do that great in recent elections. But there is a far-right disinformation um, news outlet in France that would certainly try to milk this to try to hurt Macron. Um, his Any opponents might try to hurt Macron with this in 2022. And, and plus, just on the face of it, it is simply disrespectful. It's not just about money. Money clearly does play a big part of it. It's it's also that the French were cut out completely. And Blinken did this with a quickness. It was a very sloppy, swift job by Blinken because it had a entrepreneurial swiftness to it. Blinken's the guy that set up his own company during the Trump years and made a lot of money serving clients that are destabilizing the planet, including Facebook. Facebook that continues to lie, to harass researchers that are trying to understand and and promote greater transparency of all of Facebook's abusive practices and how it impacts not just democracies around the world, but also the mental health and well-being of teenage girls. Facebook knows that Instagram, for instance, negatively impacts teenage girls, and they're not going to do anything about it because money, money, money. And so this is a company that Blinken served, made a lot of money off of. 